uh, kwa majina anaitwa Anthony Okech uh, anafanya kazi na Yara East Africa Limited kama technical agronomist leo ni siku mzuri sana ambayo tumekuja hapa uh, kiminini uh, Lulu Farm kwanza kuwa na field day uh, wakulima maana tunajua kwamba wakulima mara nyingi wakiona jinsi ambayo uh, mimea ina perform they make uh, good decisions uh, kulingana na kile ambao wataweza kujifunza mara pale so leo field day yetu ya leo ni ya seed growers wale ambao wanapanda mbegu ambayo itakuwa processed alafu commercial farmers wanaweza kupewa ili waweze kutumia uh, kwa si kwa maize production uh, with this what happened uh, is that uh, uh, kwa vile tuko tuko hapa we just want to show our nutritional uh, solutions as a company ambayo inafanya wakulima waweze kuongeza mazao yao Mbona ninasema hayo wakati ambao tulikuja kuanza kufanya kazi na seed farmers hii ni jani ambayo ilianza 2019 uh, tukiweza kuona na saa hizi tuko 2024 one of the first things we did was take soil samples tuweze kufanya soil analysis tuweze kuelewa mchanga ya hao seed growers kutoka pale tukaweza kukuja na Yara Nutrition uh, Solutions ambayo inaweza kufanya mimea iweze ku, kuwa mzuri. Tulipata seed farmers kama wana produce an average of 1000 kilos uh, per acre. Uh, as we speak we we know the potential yield is about 2000 kilos. So tunapata production yao ni half uh, what genetically the the crop can do. And uh, by this we wanted to see how do we bridge this yield gap? because as a nation we are having a problem uh, a problem of seed shortage and this seed uh, shortage is what we want to try and uh, you know close that gap so that we don't have this shortage in the country and um, as a crop nutrition company we are looking at nutritional approaches that can help us to close on that uh, yield gap now uh, that's where now we have come in uh, as a company we've done the soil testings we've understood uh, the way the soils are the nutrients that are adequate those that are deficient we've designed a specific uh, crop nutrition program for the seed growers and uh, by this uh, we have run trials uh, with the Kenya seed company we have run internal trials as yara we have also done our uh, its uh, trials with calro uh, which is the government uh, institution mandated to do uh, research for crops and, and livestock and uh, we are seeing very good and promising results uh, we have had farmers who have adapted uh, this practice for like now three years uh, and there are those who have done it for three years and uh, with this we have been able to see farmers who are recording an average of clean seed per acre uh, 2400 like this year there's a farmer who's delivered clean seed 2400 at, at kenya seed uh, from an average of 1000 uh, kilos and they're seeing that uh, this kind of leap uh, is helping us because through nutritional approaches, we are able uh, to increase the yield per unit area. And uh, just to talk about our nutritional approaches, we many farmers used to use uh, single nutrient or just double nutrient fertilizers. That is double nutrients like DAP, single nutrient like CN or urea. And uh, from the soil analysis, we saw that there are many nutrients that are lacking in the soil. So we have come up with multi-nutrient balanced nutrition fertilizers. And uh, this is what you have put in our nutrition program. And with this balanced nutrition fertilizer, we are able to improve on the yield and the quality uh, of the seed maize uh, that the farmers uh, will have to use and to plant. So looking at that, moving from soil analysis, balanced nutrition uh, fertilizers, improving the yield, increasing the quality, we are looking at, uh, uh, we are on a journey of becoming a food secure and a seed secure a nation with this and improving the lives of the farmers that use our nutritional approaches. Yes, in Kenya, one of the things that uh, we are facing as a challenge uh, is the aspect of land subdivision. And uh, with, uh, with this, it even uh, makes it a bit hard to run, you know, farming operations, especially if you are mechanizing uh, your operations. So one of the things that uh, we are looking at, because it's a problem that uh, has got us here, even if we say that we increase, we bring in policies, the policies might uh, help to avoid further fragmentation, but also we might uh, need to look at other approaches or maybe other areas where we can increase agriculture. 
And so with the land subdivision, what now we're looking at, how can we increase the production per unit area? If someone has got one acre or maybe 10 acres, for example, and is producing 15 bags uh, per acre, how can we move that from 15 to 30 and maybe eventually to 42 uh, something like that. So now that is where we come in as a, as a crop nutrition company uh, just to be able to increase their yields uh, looking at nutritional approaches. The other challenge that we do have as a country currently is um, the climate change. Uh, seven years ago farmers will basically tell you that uh, on 25th of March they start planting uh, by 25th of April they are through planting because the weather was a bit more predictable. And during the times of harvesting, they will not have so much rainfall. Right now, you can get to 25th, maybe they already have uh, heavy rainfalls or they still dry at that time. And you can be harvesting again, and during the time of harvesting, there's a lot of rainfall, so we get some post, uh, we get harvest losses and post-harvest losses as a result of, uh, you know, rotting of our yields. But as Yara now, we've also come, we have to look at how can we be innovative, innovative enough to be able to uh, mitigate uh, these aspects of climate change. So we are able to come up with a biostimulant and a biostimulant is a, a technology that we have and in this biostimulant technology it helps the crop you know to withstand uh, biotic and abiotic stresses. Now stresses that are caused by climate and also stresses that are caused by chemicals and all that. So uh, as a result of that we developed one that we have currently are brought in the seed maize uh, a program and also in the commercial maize. We call it Yara Amplix Seed Lift. And this is a seed uh, coating technology with biostimulants. And the whole essence of this is that it will help the plant to uh, mitigate the climate change. Uh, we also added some certain nutrients to help the plant uh, to be effective uh, in nutrient uptake. Uh, it also helps in the germination. So we are sure any seed that is coated with this uh, we are improving the vigor and the germination uh, of the seed uh, with this biostimulant. Uh, we are also able to take care of the soil and the environment. Uh, and this happens as a result of a good root mass, which of course will decompose and increase the organic carbon in the soil, thus improving the soil health. So we are looking at more innovative ways. How can we mitigate the challenges that we have uh, from a nutrition uh, point of view and uh, also, as an innovative company, like uh, now we are really pushing for that. We have had over three years of trials with this uh, Yara Amplix seed lift, uh, with um, uh, Calro, with Kenya seed. Uh, we've also done this uh, internally and trials with farmers. And uh, currently we are really pushing to see how uh, seed companies can adopt this and uh, use it in their in their seed dressing uh, process so that all farmers everywhere can be beneficiaries of this technology that helps us to mitigate on climate change and improve our yields. You know, the biostimulants majorly acts as a cushion against biotic and abiotic stress. Uh, this does not mean that it, uh, the seed companies will have to do away with uh, the other coatings, which majorly has the insecticide and the fungicide. So they will coat with those in addition to, in addition to this. And uh, we are sure when they do that, they will improve their production. So the other coatings of uh, the fungicide and the pesticide is still very important because we, what we are doing is taking care of the seed. So the fungicide and the pesticide protects the seed against pest, and then the biostimulants kind of come to cushion that seed and the crop that will come against abiotic and biotic stresses. Well, where we have used uh, the Yara Amplic seed lift, or the seed lift in short, like farmers call it, as the name suggests, we are trying to see how we can improve the seed uh, for better production. Uh, on average, I can talk of we are ranging at around a 12% yield increase uh, from the data that you already have. And uh, just try to picture if, uh, if a farmer is getting maybe uh, 30 bags, you do 12% of that, and then that's an addition uh, yield as a result of just adding seed lift. Uh, now if you go also to add on our crop nutrition uh, program from planting where we use Yara Miller Power, you know, that also has a technology for PA or phosphorus extent, you come with the crop boost the way uh, one of our farmers explained and the amidas and then you come with the sulfan. When you have those well-balanced uh, nutrition uh, being given to the plant in addition to this seed lift, then uh, you will be talking of over 12% yield increase because all these factors will be coming in. The farmers say that he used to deliver about one lorry per 
uh, you know, from his, uh, his farm and now he's delivering three lorries from the same from the same area because then they measure in terms of lorries. As you're able to follow up all that to the seed companies and get the actual weight. But even one lorry to three lorries already tell you that there's a jump. There's a jump in yield as a result of a combination of all these nutritional approaches. Uh, my name is uh, Abenego Senguer. I am the commercial manager for Yara in the North Rift. Uh, today we were here in Kitale, Transoya County, uh, training the seed growers from the from the region. Uh, we've had uh, seed growers from uh, Saboti here, Kinyoro. We had farmers from Kwanza. We have had farmers from uh, Wazingishu, Cherangani, and even uh, Kapenguria. So our objective here was to appreciate the farmers for adapting the Yara program, uh, be able to appreciate the, how the crop has performed, uh, performed here uh, at Lulu Farm. And uh, really farmers were, uh, have, they are really excited about uh, the performance of the crop. Uh, and this was just to thank them for uh, standing with us in terms of adapting the new technologies. Uh, again, our purpose here was to train them about uh, seed lift, uh, which is a seed dressing uh, uh, fertilizer, uh, and be able to uh, ask them to be able to adapt the same, because as you all know, there's a lot of pressure on land. Uh, farmers really need to harvest uh, uh, a crop within a very small area, uh, because as you all know, the population is growing, and if, uh, as population grows, there is a lot of pressure on land. So we want farmers to be able to adapt new technologies, to be able to uh, get good, very good yields in a small area. So as Yara, we have, we, we've been here to be able to uh, uh, train the farmers to be able to adapt these new technologies. So we have uh, really have had time here to be able to uh, go through the Yara maize program, uh, especially for the seed growers. Uh, that was really up, uh, to ensure that uh, all farmers come together and be able to get uh, new technologies. We have uh, seen the first person who has delivered uh, from the Kenya seed uh, field officer. Uh, we've gotten a farmer who has delivered uh, 300 uh, bags and uh, getting 24,000 kilos. So and that is really and I uh, uh, really and uh, we are really excited about the yields and uh, all farmers who have been here have really given us very uh, positive feedback about the the yields. So that is really uh, a positive or uh, a feedback and uh, we have really tried to make sure that uh, farmers are able to move from 10,000 kilos to be able to get to uh, uh, 20,000 and above.